thought of a cool hack, I thought I'd share it with the YouTube world. And that is taking a rubber stopper and drilling it out so it has a large hole in the middle. In my lab, I need these Erlenmeyer flasks. They have a little vent on them. I need them airproof so we can actually suck a vacuum through the funnel. Problem is you can't buy these. So I figured, well, we can drill them out. It's extremely hard to chuck it up, clamp it, grab it with pliers, whatever you want to do. With a normal spiral bit, it's way too much friction. It's going to tear these up. So then I thought maybe we can freeze it with liquid nitrogen and then use a spade bit. But then once it's frozen with liquid nitrogen, if you clamp it down, you're going to break the rubber. If we're going to put this in an Erlenmeyer flask and it holds it tight, you can actually turn a tube into your clamp. And the cool thing is since these are tapered down, as you start really cutting into it, it's actually going to get tighter in the tube and it's going to hold itself still. On this one, I've got a three phase motor with a variable frequency drive. So I'm going to crank it up to 60 Hertz. There we go. So I've got it spinning pretty slow at about a couple hundred RPMs. So literally all you do is you just start your cut and then you spray a little bit of the WD, come back up. And so that little bit of lube keeps from breaking loose and spinning in that hole. I'm sure you haven't heard that before. Oh, shoot, we're already breaking loose. So you might want to be careful. I'm kind of stupid and so I'll jump in there and grab it with my fingers, but you want to make sure that you don't grab it in a way that it'll grab, take your hand with it. That's about it. So it's gone about as far as it'll go until the bung starts spinning. And so what we now want to do now is shut the machine off. And by now you should be able to feel that the pilot drill bit is worked its way through the stopper. And that's going to be your location for when you flip it over and you finally finish the drill through on the back side. And so now what you can do is you can actually take the stopper and you can push down on that plug and it'll actually give you kind of an indent where you know you need to cut. And then you can actually cut it. So you keep cutting down until finally you feel it break loose. And there we go. So now you can see it pull out the middle you can shut the whole thing down. So stop the drill press. And since I'm doing a few of these, I pull the stopper up and then I can actually pull the core plug out. Pull the stopper down and the stopper comes off as well. Look at that! Bada bing, baby! Now we can go back to the lab and process samples.